Hey guys, Dick here again with another gold medal strategy for you. This one is not a glitch, however. This one's just a really good pro strategy um, shown to me by a couple of my friends. So first I'm going to have my friend Not All That Fat explain it, and then I'm going to show you how it's done and you know explain as we go along what exactly it is we did to get our gold medal. This is Death Toll's street map on survival. Yeah, sure. Uh, you think Lieutenant have fat? Wilson. Tank kid over here. Tank! Lieutenant, you're gonna grab the fence. Watch the fence. Tell us if there's a tank or anything coming. I'll check in every once in a while too. Uh, Airwolf, you're gonna have far left here. And then I'm gonna have middle Wilson. You have right. And then we'll take ammo times. Just follow our lead. We should have gold. Should have gold. So basically what he said is I'm going to be taking up the back, the tail, and I'm going to be watching the back fence, calling out tanks, if a smoker pulls me, anything like that. Um, for the most part, I should be able to take up the back. The three of them are forming a wall behind me, which is going to be facing forward, and they're going to be taking care of everything coming from the front. Um, like I said, if a tank comes from the back, I call it out, and we all take it as a team. And this is also best done with shotguns. Oh, does everyone have shotties? I forgot to ask that. Nope. Airwolf has an M16. So yeah, for best performance, make sure all four team members have shotguns. So for the beginning part of this survival, um, the back really isn't too difficult. I will be turning around and making sure they're okay every now and then too. But, uh, yeah, like in the beginning, not much is going to come over. About halfway through, or at least after you get your bronze, taking up the back is going to require a little more uh, skill. There's going to be a couple times where I actually have to call out for help or get smoked. Freaking tank buttons, I don't remember where they all are. So if you're watching the back, just make sure you pick off all the little common infected before they make it over the fence. Um, if you see a smoker, what I like to do is call it out over the mic as I'm killing it, just in case I get smoked. They're already a second ahead on knowing that. And the importance of having someone watch the back is that sometimes the tank will just come up out of nowhere. You hear the music and don't know he's already climbing the fence behind you. And even just like three or four special infected come up behind you and start hitting you and you don't know it, they're going to knock your name off guard. You can't run away from another special infected. So it's just really good to have someone behind you making sure none of that stuff is coming up bottom you. Smokers and hunters and tanks will spawn behind that fence. No problem. Watch the cutters in the end. Damn. <laughs> So it's important when the tank comes that everybody focuses on the tank because the faster that tank goes down, the less you have to worry about it. I had a hunter I had to take care of, but yeah, everyone should put all four shotguns into the tank as soon as they can. <laughs> Sorry about that, I still got my Steam notifications on. I've had a couple people tell me when they're watching my videos and they hear those, uh, those Steam message pop-ups, they always go and check theirs. So 
I was actually slipping a little bit here. I tried to uh, run forward and focus more on the tank and didn't keep my eye on the fence, so that is why the person in the back has to keep their eye on the fence. Keeps things from getting a little too messy. You gotta balance it though. When a tank comes, you know, you gotta help your team out with the tank, but you gotta take a peek over there every now and then. The smoker popped up and pulled one of our team back. So I don't have my settings in Fraps set to where you can hear my voice in game, but the second I get smoked, I call it out immediately so they know to, that you know that I'm uh, in cap and they need to take care of me. So we just passed up four minutes, which is the bronze medal mark, and we're about to beat my best time here, which I wasn't doing with friends or with a plan before. Seen that plan before. Weapons over here. There are ammo runs. Make sure everyone as a group runs up to the front and grabs what they need before uh, heading back to their positions. So again, Fraps isn't recording my voice, so you can't hear me, but right here I am screaming, tank behind, tank behind. So, you know, you gotta, person in the back has to let everyone know when the tank is coming from the back. Typically the idea is that it's not supposed to go this messy, but I felt I had to run the tank away from my team because he had already gotten too close to them. Um, as soon as everyone's okay, just, you know, clean up, uh, meet back up in your positions, rinse, repeat. It's not too difficult. Just some good teamwork and some good players will get you through this. We also have two tanks we're dealing with on this one right here. So when you get a chance, grab whatever you need, whether it be health, ammo, pills, uh, throwables. I already took my pills after getting manhandled by the tank, so I grabbed another bottle and popped them so I don't have to waste a med kit. Um, it's just a good idea to keep your health up because the last thing you want is for your health to be so low that when something jumps on you or pulls you, you end up getting in capped and now the team has to worry about picking you back up while dealing with everything else. Alright, so there we have the silver medal, and now we're on to our gold. So here you see me using my pistols on the tank. Um, I'm only using the pistols at the moment because he's so far away for accuracy. When the tank's close to you guys, everyone should have their shotguns out. Um, before he's even close, really, when he's at like medium range, everyone should have their shotguns out. Uh, about half emptying your shotguns and, and reloading from there until he's really close and then just worry about putting every last shell into him because it's the quickest way to take a tank down.
So notice how even though I'm helping out with the front every now and then I keep turning around, checking the back, making sure nothing sneaks up on us. Watch where you're shooting! Reloading! Damn it! So there you have it right there, gold medal popped up, um, no glitches needed, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, let me know if you tried this out, how well it worked for you, uh, feel free to leave your longest time down in the comments down there, for right now I'm just going about getting all my gold medals, eventually I will come back and try and set some really amazing times on some of these maps, but uh, feel free to comment and rate, like I said, let me know how this worked out for you guys and don't forget to subscribe for more there will definitely be new and upcoming videos and professional gold medal strategies as well as a couple glitches here and there thank you so very much for watching and i'll see you next time